Hello my friends, how are we? I am getting sick, so that's why I don't look as put together as I, as I would usually be when I'm gonna film, but we just came back from a trip to Target and been wanting to film this video and I thought, I'm like already doing this right now, so I'm gonna show you guys what's in my diaper bag. I literally just bought this bag 30 minutes ago. I'd been using this other backpack for a while um, and the zipper busted, so. Uh, obviously you can't use it now this backpack is just a regular old backpack it's from the universal thread line at Target which is like the fake Madewell or the affordable Madewell <laughs> you doing okay dude he's a little congested so I might have to jump in and out um, so this might be a little bit scattered but I hope you will bear with me because I've really missed YouTube and I really just like don't have the production value that I wish that I could have or that I think a lot of people expect nowadays but hopefully you enjoy kind of like an old school very low-key version of just a real person talking to a camera for no reason so let me show you the backpack the backpack is pretty large actually and it's got a front pocket here it's got side pockets which matter a lot to me because I like to carry around a water bottle and I like to be able to just like stick the water bottle in the side pocket. It's got two little little pockets here. I'm assuming for like a phone, something else. And then it's got a really big, I mean not that big, but kind of like a something that's big enough for like a Kindle or a wallet, stuff like that. For a long time I carried around extra clothes for Isaac and then for a long time I was like, I never use these clothes, I don't need them. And then one day I locked myself out of my apartment and fed him strawberries without a bib at the coffee shop. Um, and then I really regretted not having extra clothes. So nowadays I carry around an extra onesie. I like to carry around the plain white ones because then I don't have to worry about whether or not it's gonna match with whatever he's wearing. And then right now the pants that I've got in the diaper bag are these really cute ones from Baby Gap. And yeah, they're cute. I just stick these at the bottom. Same deal goes with um, a swaddle. I just keep an extra one of these in case I ever need to breastfeed in public and if I feel like maybe Isaac will let me cover him. But at the very least, I like to carry an extra blanket around in case I ever have a mom brain moment where I leave the house without a blanket, which has happened several times actually so that comes in really clutch yeah the next things that that are going in the diaper bag are some diapers obviously I have these from the honest company they're just so stinking adorable I don't know if honest has switched up the way that they make their diapers but when Isaac was a lot younger and he had like more more of a newborn digestive system, pre-solid food. I found that Honest just was not a good diaper. The blowouts were insane, specifically with those diapers and with Huggies. Those were the two worst ones. So we quit using Honest for a long time until recently. Side note, I have a lot of feelings about the fact that we use disposable diapers. Um, I know that it's not a sustainable option, like, at all, but for the last eight months, we have lived without any access to laundry in our building. We just moved to a building that does have laundry, but it is one washer and one dryer for all of the units, and there's like, I don't know, there's three floors of units, so I don't have, like, a realistic access to a washer dryer that I would like in order to have the cloth diapers that I would really love. I say all of that because I just want to be real. In an ideal world, we would have been able to afford cloth diapers. We would have been able to make it happen, but it just isn't a possibility for us. So we try to focus our sustainability efforts somewhere where we do have control, where we do have the resources to make a difference. Sorry, I did not mean to go on that little tangent. It's just been on my heart for a long time. Um, so diapers, I do need to get like a little pouch, kind of like this. Um, I do need something to hold these diapers together, but after the diapers, we've got wipe thing. I just take the big packets of wipes that we get and I decant them into this guy, refill it whenever we need. The last thing that will go in the diaper bag for diapers specifically is this. Yeah. But the last thing that'll go in there is this changing pad. This one is from Gather and it's in their vetiver. I think color. I don't know if this is still available, but this is made of like a, of a wipeable leather and I love that because it's beautiful. It's my favorite color, obviously. 
and I love the fact that it's wipeable. Our little unicorn backpack, this gray backpack that I'm taking everything out of, came with a changing pad, which is awesome. It's washable, which is great, but it stained like very early, very quickly. Um, so I like the fact that this is wipeable, then I know that if I wipe it, I probably won't stain it. All right, let's move on to like food and snacks. So the first thing that I carry around is a little hydro flask. This is a little kiddo one. I got this at REI. I think it's part of the new collection this season. At least this color is. I don't actually know what color this is, but I will be sure to look it up and link it down below for you in case you're interested. I do like this because it's got a little bumper already on it. You can buy these bumpers for whatever hydro flask you have. They have them in two sizes, but I like that this already came with one. I didn't, don't think it added to the price of it either. And it's also a straw lid. Isaac really loves. He loves it. It's spill proof when it's closed, but when it's open, it is not spill proof. It, it will spill. The other things that I carry around as far as snacks go are packaged items. I have a few of these yogurt bites that I keep in the diaper bag. Besides the fact that they're in single-use packaging, my one complaint is I really dislike the fact that they are in these really big circles. Um, I've tried giving these to Isaac and I think he gets excited and he just thinks that he can swallow it. And so he puts it in his mouth, he lets it melt a little bit, and then he swallows it. So I break them in half to help him out. And then I carry around two to three of these little squeezy pouches. If I really had my life together as a tree hugging mom, I would buy the reusable pouches um, where you just make your own puree and then fill them up and have every intention of doing that. But the last month and a half has been really, really crazy. So we've been surviving and we've been surviving with these guys. Those are lifesavers, especially when we find ourselves out and about for longer than I anticipated. So if a doctor's appointment goes late, yeah. And I also carry around these little samples of formula and I've been hoarding them. And I carry one around just in case it's, it's a certain time of the month and my my supply is really low i also carry around these little komotomo bottles they are made out of silicone they just have minimal plastic parts they're not completely plastic free but they're also not fully plastic bottles then i think the last thing i carry around for feeding is a little bib these this is another product from gather um they're just these really beautifully made um leather goods i have a couple of their play mats and i have a few of these bibs and they're just so cute this one is i think in the saddle one what color is this oh no this is ginger so it's just this beautiful like rusty brown orangey brown color <laughs> it's beautiful and um you know, when you're covered in spit every day, at least your kid can have some really cute things. That's why I, I buy these fancy things. Next thing that I'm going to put in here is my little mom pouch. Um, during Vlogmas, I put together this little pouch of things for me that I could keep in the backpack. Alright, so we've got that there. Then the next thing I'm going to put in here is my uh, ring sling. This one is from Wild Bird. It's a beautiful green color. Do you sense a trend here? Is it? I just stick that in there. This thing is a freaking lifesaver. Anytime I have left the house without the ring sling, I have always regretted it because I've always ended up needing it. All right, last couple of things because I feel like this video is gonna be really long and really sporadic. It's okay. A burp cloth because spit up still happens. I always try to carry on a couple teethers because Isaac is teething and he's teething hard. This one is just a circle silicone one that came from his love every baby play gym activity center thing. And then I've also got one on a pacifier clip because Isaac does not take a pacifier. This little pacifier clip, also green. But I got this, I think it's from Little Harvest Company. Um, so I'll make sure to tag her below. I think that's everything. Anyway guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of random video. I am trying really hard to get back onto the groove of uploading. Um, so I've got a lot of ideas for like mom stuff. And I hope that's okay. If it's not, I understand. You don't have to watch them. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to link everything as much as I can down in the description box below in case you want to check it out and uh yeah other than that if you haven't subscribed i would love it if you did and come hang out on instagram i'm at tinted underscore green and other than that we will see you in our next video bye
Oh my gosh. Pause. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big booger. Yeah, that's true. I think that's everything. My camera's about to die. <laughs>